What's the most romantic thing anybody has ever done for you for Valentine's Day? Oh, wow. Um, I think my husband surprised me and we did like a big golfing adventure. And then we've also done like a big, I've never been skiing before, so he taught me how to ski. You said a golfing adventure? Yeah, we went to like this big in like uh, Texas. It was like a big, I was doing an appearance out there for like a golf thing and he surprised me out there. Listen, Drex is interested in golf. What I want to know is, you really <laughs> think like, isn't going skiing on a, on a that's nothing romantic. I Here's the thing is that I'd never been skiing and I don't like to be cold. So I didn't think I was going to enjoy this whatsoever. I freeze below 70. So I actually did though because you have to be so bundled up and you're going, yeah. And so you must I have said, ate it like 15 times. So it was fine. Yeah, I was going to say, like, some of the biggest arguments I've had with my wife have been on the slopes because she oh, was, really? is in the same exact boat as you. Yeah. Were you like, you take me to the nicest places? <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's, it's frustrating because I'm a, I'm very competitive, and he's so much better at skiing than I am. Well, clearly, than I am, as I'm like plowing, snow plowing down the field. But you're a wedge girl. That's what. We, yeah. That's your new. That's your nickname. But actually, I picked it up. It, don't, it took me out of the weekend. Yeah, I was doing nice. pretty well. Yeah. Football players say that the day after being in a football game, they feel like they've been in a car accident. Is the same true with wrestling? Um, I feel like I've been in a car accident every single night when I'm done. So yes. And we don't have an off season, so. <laughs> Take that, big football player.